to SmackDown Live. Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, and, well, the greatest of all time, Corey Graves, on hand, waiting in anticipation for what the SmackDown Live general manager has in store for us tonight. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the showtime bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big oh. mistake. Mark my words. Ben Black. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> oh, he's able to reverse it. Showing off some of his speed there. You gotta believe this one's over. measuring slam down hard this might be it guys no! Nailed it. shoulder tackle he wants to 
to do this in the ring. There can only be one. Oh, the big scissors kick. What a comeback. Whoa, Rusev dodged that one. Lands this and he is done. Rusev with a running super kick. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Come on, our truth you can do this. Uh-oh, words are being exchanged here. Can't this wait till after the match? Each of these competitors is looking for the Rusev with a running super kick. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Look at this. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Yeah, this early, no chance. This one's not over yet. Whoa, our truth. What? Is he done? Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Perhaps trying to figure out the next move here. Whatever the case, Michael, this is an impressive show of strength. And Rusev makes the cover. Gets the shoulder. Wow, what's it going to take? Not sure how, but our troop still has the strength to kick out there. Straight punch, nothing fancy. Collision on the splash. Oh, a knee! Lights out. He's definitely got all pistons firing right now. Here he goes. <laughs> Turn out the lights. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Our truth is just getting overwhelmed. It looks like Rusev. The accolades locked in. I don't like how this is looking for our truth. Come on, our truth, you can do this. It cinched in. He got him to tap out. Here is your winner, Rusev. We all knew this situation was going to explode sooner rather than later. What impact? He's definitely got all pistons firing right now. He's looking at it. Face first. That's what he was looking for. The accolades locked in. Here's his moment, Michael.
If you're looking for style points, if you're looking for finesse, you're in the wrong place. If you want to see somebody get beat up and punched in the mouth, sit down and enjoy the show. Only Lorcan never seems to be in a pleasant mood. Probably heard your commentary. What a strike. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Zazawa so quick, so dangerous. I'll tell you guys, Ooh. I joined one of Akira Zazawa's fierce training sessions, and I can barely make it back to my car after. I refuse to believe you actually didn't survive. Zazawa's a freak when he's training. I'd have been fine, though. Drop kick with precision. Big backdrop. What a stop. Good. Grief. He's not looking at himself here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Hey, oh. you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Rude awakening! Oh, nasty impact. Hooked him up. Lightning fast reflexes. Boom! <laughs> he's in a little bit of trouble now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Man, the confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bottom number cut. That'll cost some teeth. He might have it. Breaker. Ouch. That should do it. He's playing with him now. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Devastating elbow. Plenty of can't-miss TV on Thursday, but nothing more can't-miss than this broadcast of WWE television. He's looking at it. Suplex. This one's over, guys. Looking for all the glory here. One, two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Tony Morgan. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. I love these girls. Who doesn't? I don't. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Peyton Royce, representing the Iconics from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. WWE's resident mean girls under the bright lights on the big stage, exactly where the Iconics belong. may or may not be two of my most trusted sources. No, oh, I believe that. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. Two ladies who have known each other since high school 
in Sydney, Australia, now causing havoc and dismay. And goodness gracious, they do. Absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. Oh my God. Breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Gotta respect the strategy to work over the arm. Uh-oh. Oh! Chin-breaking oh, uppercut! Oh! Huge big boot! Impact. She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Not yet. Becky Lynch is credited as one of the superstars who ushered in the women's revolution. No match in WWE history showed where that movement was going, like the women's triple threat match at WrestleMania 32. Becky Lynch clashed with the boss, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte for the women's championship. Vertical suplex! Nice! The women's triple threat match at WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas was one of the most anticipated matches on the card. Becky Lynch went on a tear in the months leading up to WrestleMania and would not be ignored as a top contender for the women's title. If you want to know just right. how anticipated the women's triple threat match was at WrestleMania 32, just look at the photo of the three women that went across AT&T Stadium. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte changed the game that night. Ooh! Oh, destroy your face! She is on fire! Setting up the bone. That's what makes her so dangerous. Oh, man, Billy Kay doesn't even know where she is. Oh, this is dangerous right here. What's he doing? Big reversal for her there. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Wait a minute. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. She doesn't want to get up. Hooked up. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer.
Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. She should stay where she is. Flat jack. Oh. The oh my goodness, crushing it. This might be the one that ends it. It's safe to say that Becky Lynch has made the most of her time in WWE. The Irish last kicker has had WrestleMania moments and was the captain of the women's team at the 2017 Survivor Series. Look at her go. She's on her last legs. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Michael, you alluded to Becky Lynch's impressive body of work in WWE. They got him. Got the uh, got the disarmor. Game, set, match. This one is over. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. And Becky Lynch powers out way too early. This might be it. Oh, now that got those shoulders on the mat. One. And a kick out by Becky Lynch. She's still in this one. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Looking at it here. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Beautiful technique. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. One more shot and she's done. You're this one is over. Oh man, she goes for the cover. One, two, three. Yes, takes it. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Big win here to start the show. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. They love to have fun, but they're as tough as they come. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Odin Dokovic and Tucker Nine. Heavy Machinery. Two men, they're a little different, they're a little unorthodox, but they're fun to watch and they know how to get the job done. certainly lead to a few oat sodas after the match tonight. Dozovic and Knight, two tough, tough individuals. The Colognes are here! Primo and Epico carrying on the legendary legacy of the Cologne family in sports entertainment. You know, there's one thing very consistent about Primo and Epico, and that is no lack of confidence from these two individuals who firmly believe they serve as the basis of what tag team wrestling is all about. It's hard to argue with that fact, Byron, the fact that Primo and Epico literally grew up inside of a ring. Unbelievably talented team, ton of potential.
Both legal men okay. are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Slam with authority! I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmament, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. He's calling for it. He'd be wise to stay right there. Close line! Tucker, you gotta believe this one's over. That has gotta be it. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. And off the tag. Mason point on the end of a match, guys. Brought in the hard way. Oh, breakneck speed, one of her Karana. It's a bit off his game here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Ooh, the good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. That should do it. He might have it. This might be it. Oh, my. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Looking for the quick cover. It's Otis Kuzovich.
He's got him here. He's got him. Here. what makes him one of the best in the business. And it's Epico showing some agility. Oh, gut buster. Wow, a gritty performance. There's the pin. Shaky, this could be the end. And it's Epico showing some agility. Oh, the old head zip. Will it be? One. And the kick out by Otis Dozovic. Not even close. The teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in a two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time to score the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate. Oh, no. We know what beautiful dive. Is that... And he doesn't stay down for long. How in the world? Irish whip. Looks like he's starting to tire. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. Sure, he would not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus on the fact that he's in far better shape than his opponent right now. Keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Counter here. Oh boy, he is good. Look at him. There they go. Here's his moment, Michael. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Real close. Too close for comfort. Not yet. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Tossed around like a rag doll. Suplex. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Oh, nasty impact. One is over. Oh man, Epico is in trouble now. Tucker Knight is in position. 
submission. Can he finish the job? Going for the cover. This is it. Oh, what impact. That has got to be it. His shoulders are down. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Here are your winners. Otis Dozovic and Tucker. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Wendy Orton. Randy Orton began his career by being known as the Legend Killer. Randy Orton is now simply a legend. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. He has done that in a major way, a 13-time world champion. The mood changes when Randy Orton enters the building. Orton is a volatile superstar that can end a match in an instant with an RKO out of nowhere. A man with absolutely no absence of malice.
One of the most decorated champions in WWE history, Randy Orton, looking to add to his legendary status tonight. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. Drop down. Nice. Good God, what a knee. No part of the outside. Nailed it. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. What a stomp! Good grief! And you have to wonder what the next move will be here. Oh, nasty impact. that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Randy Orton's in a world of hurt. 
And the Viper needs to rally quick. At this point, his confidence has to be at zero. Oh, man, what a beating he's taken. You can see the lights are on, but clearly nobody's home. Too quick for him there. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, boy, he is wrong. Ooh. take much more. This might be it! Oh my! This war is over. Looking for the finish. If he sticks ooh, right to the face, this one's over. He's got him covered. The pinfall and the victory. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening.